Welcome to Tuesday's show. Uh, morning, studio. Morning. morning. All right, let's get started. Around the room. Up first, he always wears a hat. He's doing a pretty good job of losing his belly fat. By the way, which was his goal? I didn't just say that out of nowhere. <laughs> he said <laughs> that, he, that was his goal. goal. Yeah. Here he is. Producer Eddie, everybody. Yeah. Go ahead. Guys, I had to do something this weekend that I hadn't done in forever. I mean, I used to do it when I was a kid, but my son was acting up. He was being disrespectful to his mom, so I made him do lines. Oh, sentences. I, I saw you post this on Instagram. Yeah. And when I was a kid, dude, my teachers would make me do it all the time. So I was like, this has to work. I remember it. So I made him write 150 times, I will obey my mom and follow the rules. 150? 150. That's a harsh first offense. Oh. Well, it's not his first offense. He o- disobeys his mom all the time. But did you say how hey, you're going to write sentences? Nah. It was just kind of the 10th time of being like, dude, you need to like get it together. That's it. I'm what, over it. What do you think about that punishment? First, he was like, I'm, I can't do this. This is crazy. But he did it in like 20 minutes. Wow. Do you feel like it will deter him from doing it again? Yeah. Because next time it's gonna be 200. And you know what was gonna be? What was the best oh. part? The best part was ripping it up when in front of him when he was done. All that work and you just tore. That's it what up. I, that's what the teachers used to do to me, and I'm like, this is gonna be cool. And I enjoyed it. I'm like, well, thank you, rip. And he was like, oh, this is crazy. Oh, I man. loved it. You're too happy about this. I'm I do. <laughs> All right, let's go over to lunchbox. He does crossword puzzles, and listeners think he needs a muzzle. Here he is, LB. <laughs> Business partner, I just want to look at you right now and tell you we got a problem. Uh oh. I still don't have my money. I, I know, I know. And this is why, business partner, we got another problem. <laughs> we got people bidding on these shoes and then they don't pay. But like that's we, that's 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 part of the problem with eBay, though. Like, I, I know, but I, that, I don't know where else to sell the Yeezys. Like we got like one hundred and seventy-five dollars for the Yeezys, no pay. And I emailed the person three times, no response. So the Yeezys are gonna have to go back up for sale. Lunchbox and I bought a storage unit uh. together. We like we didn't buy the actual unit. We bought what was in it. And so I paid for 75% of it, and then he was going to do the work. And I've, I've been, been doing the work. I haven't it, seen a penny from it, mm. right? a single penny. Because I don't want to pay you in like, oh, here's $30, here's $30. No, I'd rather be paid, no, rather be paid, like, that. No, no, rather be paid I, like that. I'd rather pay you in no, no, one No, 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 but I'd rather just chunk. get some money at all. <laughs> I've, no, I've gotten no money. I know. And I so the Yeezys are going back up for sale today because I can't get payment from this person, so we are... What have we sold from the unit? Uh, we have sold. Let me go to my eBay account. I mean, there are listeners, too, that are asking about this. Every time we go to the voicemail lines. I have a question regarding Lunchbox. When is he going to give Bobby Bones his money he received from the shoes? I thought that was supposed to be done on the end of the month of February. I- Just wondering. Thank you. They don't interrupt the lady here. I, I know. I, I thought she was done. And I, I know. I've been trying, but Why like, are you stammering? Because you know something's up. Go no, ahead. A lot of, I, I, I. Just say February is a short month. Yeah, February was short, <laughs> and then I got people not I'm not paying. How many I, pairs of shoes have we sold? We've sold six pairs of shoes. That's good. Wow. And you need to give him the money, dude. And how many more pairs of shoes do we have to sell? Two. Okay, I don't. Because no, no, no. This is ridiculous. I just want my money. Where's your money? Well, no, actually. <laughs> Now one because the Yeezys. Scoob, no. if I give you like fifty bucks, can you like hurt him? Yeah, like I'll a, break his arm for sure. Yeah, I'm, like some sort of bookie situation. <laughs> He's coming to me for the descriptions <sighs> and how to do it and all this stuff, and I, I don't want to cut, but I feel bad for you not getting anything at all at this point. How how long ago did I give him this money? I think this was back in October. Maybe even uh, soon, maybe even further longer. back. It may have been yeah, soon. longer than that. <laughs> even he's going to maybe <laughs> sooner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, two pair of shoes. Put them back up. <sighs> We're going to have to deadline this with there being a punishment. Give me told them how to figure this out. No, no, but I listen, you can't do that because what listeners are doing is they, they hear the punishment, they're going to buy them and then not pay just so I get the punishment. Uh, wise man once said, that's showbiz, baby. <laughs> no, it ain't showbiz. That's it's called that's showbiz, baby. not cool. So, people, if you want to bid, pay, man. How much money have we made right now? Profit. Man, if I knew how to go to my eBay. Like, oh, God. That's mean? why we can't get them. No. He didn't like, know how to load. Oh, like, he can't even log into his eBay and he's like, no. they're screwing up our eBay. <laughs> My eBay. Okay, anyway, Amy, I'm coming. <laughs> I'll, I'll find it by the end of this segment. Okay. Over to Amy. She went to get her energy healed, and she's not too great behind the steering wheel. Here she is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My son came to me. I guess he got an ad for this app that's called Perfect Lie, and so he has to send approval for anything he downloads. And he's like, can I get approval for this app? We click on it, and it says, how good of a liar are you? Can you fool your mom? Can you lie to your dad, your teacher? Right. Can you be the number one liar in the world? And I guess it's supposed to be fun, but obviously I denied it. And 
I, I just don't want my son playing a game that's like literally teaching him how to lie. Uh, App Store, the perfect lie. <laughs> and I'm like, what? It's, it's like a cartoon. I never heard of such thing. I don't know. Parents, beware. So does it really train your kid how to lie? I didn't download it. I tried to read as much about it, and that that's that was the selling point. Mm. All those questions, and I guess that's for kids if they don't have to have approval the from their parents. perfect lie. So mm. check their phones, see if they're playing the perfect lie. Yeah, perfect lie. All right. From Mountain Pine, Arkansas, he has to use his own money for games on the show, so when we win, he loses dough. Bobby Bones. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's a good one. I'm going to ask you guys if you ever met one of your professional heroes, because I, I got a chance to meet one of mine, which... Over the end of last week, I went to California, and I filled in for Rich Eisen, who way back in the day was one of the real big sports center anchors. He's got a big sports radio and TV show, which is I did. He works for NFL Network. So I went out and did a sports show for a couple days for him, and they were like, book whoever you want. And I said, can we get Craig Kilborn? And he came in. And I'd, I'd met him through Zoom before, but he actually came in and did the show. And I got to tell him, like, like, you're one of my, like, heroes. Because the guy did sports and then decided he wanted to go to the Daily Show at Comedy Central. And nobody was, like, switching genres. And he went and did that. Then he had a late-night talk show on CBS. And he's 6'5", which was wow. extremely oh, wow. surprising. He played college basketball. But he couldn't have been nicer. And his, like, shtick is, like, fancy. And he's like, I am Lord Kilby. And he's just fun. <laughs> but he could not have been nicer. We hung out afterward. He, he was like, can I get it? Let's do selfies. It was, like, really a great experience for me. And they always say, don't meet your heroes, and that was really a great example of sometimes why you should. Amy, I know you get to meet, mm, I guess I only talked you to Robin there. Roberts on I know. Robin Zoom. Roberts waiting to meet her in person, but we have. I've met Robin Roberts in person. She's awesome. Yeah. She's awesome. We've talked on Zoom, which, yes, okay, next level we'll be meeting her. But you and I were in New York for something for work, and we were at some party that our company was hosting, and I got to meet Delilah. Oh, oh yeah. that's cool. You did meet Delilah. Delilah. That's right. She's awesome. Eddie, you ever met anybody? I mean, Garth Brooks. I wanted to be him when I was a kid, and then when I met him, I was like, wow, he's a hero. Is that a professional hero? Yeah, I'm an artist, kind of. Mm. You know what uh, I mean? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I mean, without, dude, when I was young, I wanted to be Garth. So when I met him, it was really cool. Lunchbox? Johnny Bananas. That's true. Yeah, I mean, true. I, I wanted to be. I mean, I wanted to be real world. I wanted to be a challenge. <laughs> I wanted to be an influencer. Johnny Bananas is that. And so when I met him, it That's was good. like, woo hoo hoo. Yeah. Is he an influencer? What? <laughs> Is he an influencer? He said he, said he wants to be an influencer. 100%. I, what right do you now, think we are? What, what would you influence? The lives of America? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Most influence ha influencers have like a specific like a area they influence in. Like what would Bananas be an influencer on? I don't think he's known I, yeah. as an influencer. I don't influencer. know. I think he's a, a personality, like a television personality. Okay. Yeah. Then that's, okay, then I guess not influencer. <laughs> I thought more he was an influencer. How much, tell me, give me some money here. So we've made around 700 bucks. So made as in more than what we put in. Yeah. Well, no, so minus. So, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. <laughs> we put in like, we put in 220. Okay. So 700 minus 220, you tell me. You tell me. <laughs> 480? Do the math. All right, 480. So you've made uh, $240 profit here. Where's my 240? And then if we sell the Yeezys for what we use. No, I mean, no. we're looking at, man, we're looking over like. 400 bucks each, man. That's a great investment. I got zero dollars right now. I need I know, my money. I know. I, the Yeezys are going back up for sale, but people. This quit. is what's going to happen. This is uh, what's going to happen. No, no, you said I'm tomorrow. I'm going to give them to the end of the month. Come on. And I'm not going to say what's going to happen, but it ain't going to be good. <gasps> oh, man. Because this is a radio bit, too. Ooh, so we can do stuff it. to him on the radio mm -hmm. if he doesn't give the money. So. Now, I got a question, it. business partner. I I'm, not been, telling, I'm not telling you what's going to happen. I should have been asking you this from the beginning. Go ahead. I've been paying, like, every post we put up, I pay an extra $2.99 just to boost it so it'll get more views. Just oh. so you know. What? Do you like that or that, no? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So that means you're going to get less money, Bones. No, no, no. It, no that, he didn't ask me about does, that. Has okay. boosting it worked? I don't know. I mean, we get bids. <laughs> <laughs> like this one, I got, I, and I mean, I put a reserve fee on there. Like it has to get to a certain amount or else it doesn't sell. Let's just my sell gosh. them, bro. Well, one was only, they, they bid I like. I just want my money. I just want my money. <sighs> you got to the end of the month. Or I, else. Or else. I, I, I'm yeah. just telling you. I'm right. sorry, dude. Businesses, you run into problems. This is the this is the Alright, we're moving on. It's, it's a Bobby Bones show.